Hello everyone and welcome to Rail Enthusiast. Today you join me outside London Paddington which will be the beginning of our next route learning video. For today's service we'll be driving the GWR class 166 from London Paddington to Reading. The head code for this service is 2R37 departing from London Paddington at 12.42. Today's service will be stopping at Ealing Broadway, Southall, Hayes and Harlington, West Drayton, Slough, Burnham, Taplow, Maidenhead, Twyford, and Reading. The Class 166 was built by ABB in York as part of the Networker family. Constructed between 1992 and 1993, around 21 trainsets were built with a consist of three cars per trainset. These units had a maximum speed of 90 miles per hour and a power output of 350 horsepower per engine. If you would like some more detail on the controls for this unit and how to start it up from cold and set it up for a run, I'll leave a link in the description to my previously made video. As we depart from London Paddington, we have around 6 miles to Ealing Broadway, which is our first stop. Our current permitted speed is 20 miles per hour, but soon will be increasing as we exit the station up to 40 miles per hour. In a second here I'll be idling the power just to make sure we don't succeed the 25 miles per hour. For anyone who might be new to the channel, the whole point of these route learning videos is to sort of help teach you how to drive without the in-game HUD on. So that's like how far to the next station, where the speed changes are, or to try and help you to be a better driver so you can feel confident driving without the HUD. I am not a certificated driver, but I do really love trains and I try to drive trains in the real world as much as I can, so I'm just trying to pass on my experience to you as the viewer. Just as we come up these points ahead, this is where we'll be able to start increasing up to the next speed limit of 40 miles per hour. Just as I go over the points, I'm just going to start slowly applying power and we're going to slowly start to accelerate now up to that 40 miles per hour. I'm now just idling the power again just to make sure we don't go over 40 miles per hour and I'll be adjusting between having no power and being in step one of throttle just to keep us not from going too fast or too slow. Just as we approach the bridge just ahead of us, that's where the next speed change of 50 miles per hour is just around about located. So as we go past the bridge, you can see the 50 miles per hour speed limit just coming up now. And we could be able to start increasing up to this 50 a few seconds after just passing onto this bridge. I am now applying full power so we can begin to accelerate up to the 50. Once again I'm now idling the power and I'll be swapping between step 1 of throttle and neutral just to maintain our speed from going over 50 and not being going too slow. Just after the bridge you can see in front of us the speed will be further increasing up to 80 miles per hour for multiple units and 65 miles per hour for just locomotives on their own. Uh, you can see the speed change just coming up in front of us now and uh, just as we go past the speed change uh, the one of the electrical poles you can see in front of us probably the one just after the one we're about to go over and you'll be able to start increasing up to the 80 miles miles per hour I've now just started applying power
with the new Diesel Legends pack which has recently come out from Dovetown, I was considering possibly re revisiting this route again, um, but back in the 70s, if that's something you would like as a viewer. So do let me know in the comments if that's something you'd like to see, and I can work on doing a video for you um, on the same route using 1970s BR blue livery locomotives. At the bridge ahead of us, this is where you'd normally want to start breaking for Acton Mainline Station, but most services don't actually stop at Acton, so we'll be passing through, but if you are stopping at Acton, you want to start braking now, just as you come to that bridge. In step one, braking. Now passing through Acton Mainline Station now. As we pass through Acton, we'll be looking to start breaking for Ealing Broadway just around the first bridge we come up to just um, in front of us, which we can see just in the distance, and we'll start breaking in step one. I am now applying step one braking, ready to bring our speed down nice and gently for Ealing Broadway. We'll be looking to stop around the S marker at the end of the platform. Now departing away from Ealing Broadway, we got around 3 miles and a half to our next station, Southall, and our current permitted speed is 90 miles per hour. If your service is stopping at West Ealing, you want to start braking step on just before the bridge in front of us. We're now about to pass through West Ealing.
just after passing West Ealing, we got around three miles to Southall. If your service is stopping at Hanwell, you want to start braking stuff on just at the signal here. If you had not stopped at West Ealing, then you want to stop uh, start braking at the footbridge, which was previously a bit further back. At this point we've got around 2 miles now until we reach Southall. We'll be looking to start breaking the Southall around the cluster of points and signals we can see in front of us here. I am now applying Blake in step one. I'm just going to use a touch of step two braking just to make sure we're hitting around 30 miles per hour when coming into the platform. We'll be looking to stop at the S board marker just at the end of the platform which you can see just on one of the white pillars there on our left. Departing from Southall, we got around 2 miles to our next stop, Hazen Harlington. Our current permitted speed is 90 miles per hour, as you could have seen just from the speedboard we just went past. For anyone who has seen my previous videos, I've been working really hard on trying to make my speech sound more natural, as I feel like in my past videos I've sounded a little bit more robotic and haven't, my speech hasn't been as free flow, so I've been working really hard to sound a little bit more um, normal, I guess, in, in the video, so uh, let me know if this sounds a lot better, because uh, from what I'm hearing back as I record these videos and make them, but I'm thinking that I've definitely improved on the sort of speech side of things within these videos. As you can see from the speedboard there, our current permit speed is 90 miles per hour and for locomotives it's 80. This route does seem to have a lot of speedboards reminding you of the speed, which is quite nice to have that reminder, but they do have an awful lot constantly telling you what the speed is. As we go under this bridge here, I'm going to be going to step one of braking, ready to bring our speed nice and slowly down to get into Hayes and Harlington. I'm now just going to use a little bit of uh, second step braking because I feel like we're not quite bringing our speed down quick enough. So just a little tap on 
uh, on the second step there and as we come into station I'll be putting it back into step one. Ad Hayes and Harlington will be aiming to stop yet again at the s board marker at the end of the platform. Starting from Hayes and Harlington, we got around two miles to our next stop, West Drayton. Our current permitted speed is 90 miles per hour. We want to start braking for West Train just after this bridge here in step one. I am now applying step one braking to bring our speed down for West Train. We'll be lucky to stop at the S board marker just at the end of the platform here to our left.
departing from West Drayton, we have around 6 miles to our next station, SLU. Our current permitted speed is 90 miles per hour. If your service is stopping at either, you want to start braking step one just before the bridge ahead. Now passing the Eva, we got around four miles to slew. If your surf is stopping at Langley, you want to brake just at these points to the right here in step one braking. After passing through Langley, we got around two miles to Slew. I am now just idling the power as we're going to want to start braking in step 1 braking for slew just after this bridge. I am now applying step 1 braking. At the speedboard just ahead before coming into SLU, the speed will be decreasing down to 75 miles per hour and 6 miles per hour for locomotives. We'll be aiming to stop at the free dash four stopping marker just to our left.
departure from Slough, we have about two miles to our next stop, Burnham. Our current permitted speed is 70 miles per hour. Just at the bridge ahead, the speed will be further increasing back up to 90 miles per hour for units and 60 for locomotives. However, we will not be increasing speed as we are not far from our next stop, Burn. Just at the bridge ahead, we're going to want to go into step one braking for Burnham. I'm just going to use a tad little bit of step two braking just to make sure I don't come into the platform too quickly. Here there is no, to what I can see, an exact stopping marker. So I'm going to aid stop just at that information board, that screen just in front of us to the right. Starting from Burnham, we have about two miles to Taplow, which is our next stop. We're going to want to start braking in step 2 for Taplo just around this corner here as we come into view of the platform. I have now just applied step 2 braking. Mm -hmm. 
as we come into the platform I'll be bringing back the brake into step 1 and here at Tableau we'll be looking to stop at the 2-3 stopping marker. Starting from Taplo, we have about two miles to go till we reach our next stop, Maidenhead. We're going to want to start braking for Maidening Head in step 1 braking just as we come across some points to the left. You can see the points just to the left now. So I'm just going to idle the power and put ourselves into step 1 braking now so we can begin to slow ourselves down for Maidening Head. Just as we're about to come into Maidening Head, you'll see just after these points there's now a speed decreased down to 75 miles per hour for units and 60 miles per hour for locomotives. We'll be aiming to stop at the S stopping board just on one of these lamp posts to our left. Starting from Maidenhead, we have around 7 miles to our next stop, Twyford. Our current permit speed will now be increasing at the speedboard back up to 90 miles per hour.
just at the bridge ahead, we want to start breaking step one for Twyford. going to use a little bit of step 2 braking just to bring our speed down to below 30 for coming into the platform. We're going to be looking to stop at the S board marker just in the wall to the footbridge here. from Twyford we have around 5 miles to our final destination Reading and our current permit speed is 90 miles per hour. As we come into Reading there will be a speed decrease of 40 miles per hour and we're going to want to start braking for this 40 miles per hour as we come across some points just to our left in step one. I'm now idling the power 
and you can see the points coming up here. So just as we go over these points, I'll put ourselves into step one braking to slow down for the 40 mph speed zone. I'm now going into step one braking. You can see the 40 miles per hour speedboard just ahead and it's important to mention as we come close to the station there will be another further decrease down to 30 miles per hour so we'll start braking for that just as we see the board. just going past the 30 miles per hour speed board now and we'll be aiming to stop the yes board marker at the end of this platform. I would like to thank everybody so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe.